This is Skull Babylon reporting. It is June 8th, 2012, here in London, Ontario, Canada. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock right now, and about a half hour ago, I legit saw some UFOs flying over top of the city, along with my buddy Derek. So here's a retrospect of what happened. In order to make the most out of this video, I will be adding some post narration to it. So just a couple things to note. Before I started filming, there were about five or six of these things that I could see in the sky, all moving in the direction of east. But that said, I'm just going to let you guys watch the raw footage, and uh, I just did my best to film it, you know, being in the moment and everything. So, uh, UFOs right now. Yo, do those look like UFOs to you guys? What are they? What do you think they are? No Other than UFOs. Yeah, so what the hell are they though? Unfortunately, not every UFO in the sky is a legit UFO. In this case, what we are looking at may actually be Chinese lanterns. A friend of ours posted a comment on Facebook saying that a friend of theirs had one of these lanterns land in their backyard the day of the event. Does this answer the question of for sure what happened? Maybe. But UFOs are still real, so let's let this video exist anyways for the sake of existing. Obviously I wanted to get some better footage, so I ran across the street again to get on the other side of a building that was blocking my line of sight, but unfortunately by the time that I got there, the ones that I had just been looking at had disappeared. So this is a continuation of footage I just shot merely a minute ago of uh, what I can only recognize as UFOs above the skies here in London. Now there's a heading from a point, heading from over here. Like I, I was originally over there, then I ran around this building to try and get a better view. But by the time I looked over there, there was none left in the sky. But they originally came from that way. And then they went over here, crossed over top of that church. And there was like, at least like seven or eight of them maybe at one point. What can I say? I, I was talking to some guys uh, while it was happening and I was like, hey, what are those? What are those? Are those UFOs? And they're like, oh, it's like electrical something, balloons or something. Which, I mean, you would guess, right? Like, what the heck were they? But it looked like they were like coming up from somewhere over there. And then they just sort of dis disappeared. Um, I'm, I'm really curious as to what those are, but as it is right now, I don't really have a best guess, so what can I say? All right, so just as I walked around the corner, two more of them showed up. Again, I'm just gonna document this because I don't really know what they are. I'm actually gonna bust out my other good camera. So. Just switching cameras. Okay, so just within the time that I switched cameras, they disappeared again. I'm just gonna sit here and uh, see if more of them show up because those ones appear to be coming from the same direction. Again, I'm not being some sort of conspiracy theorist here. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm looking at. You know, alien or otherwise. I'm just documenting what I see. But this is not the first time that there have been UFO sightings in London. Alright, gonna keep doing my job. Wait now here, see what shows up. So they sort of disappeared around this area, over top of that building. That's one London place, that's the biggest building downtown. But it's probably like a portal above it or something. It's my best guess. You know? But yeah, I'm just gonna camp this place out. I I'm curious to see if any more shows up. I've seen UFO before in the past, but it was like a triangle shape, uh, three light UFO that like uncloaked right over top of me. Long story short. But what about you? Have you seen UFOs? What sort of UFOs have you seen? Did they look like floating uh, lanterns, so to speak? Because that's basically kind of what I saw. Um, but I highly doubt that's exactly what they were. Maybe they were. Maybe, maybe someone was like having a festival somewhere and they like let off these candles and they floated away and then a couple minutes later, they let off two more candles. Who knows, right? Like that—that that is one explanation. But don't know if don't know for sure. So one theory: the sky is actually full of these things, full of UFOs. They're just—we can't see them. They're not in our spectrum, or they're cloaked. 
could be both of these reasons, but one idea is that that building, the one London place, maybe there's a ship like right near it or something. Maybe those things were like going back to their ship or something. Like, I don't know. So I actually just uh, ran into a couple cops and I just asked them, I was like, hey, do you guys know of any uh, Chinese lanterns or Chinese festivals happening in town and any idea what the, what the lights might have been? And I explained it to him. Um, I explained it to him, I showed the video that I just shot and he told me that he was like down on the other side of town and he said that when he was checking out a place, he saw civilians on the street, six of them, and they were all looking up going, oh, what's that, what's that, what's that? So that fell in with the timeline of when I saw it too. So I'm not the only one who saw it, other people saw it. I'm gonna send this stuff into the news, you know, like, th is this newsworthy? Like, you tell me, London, do you wanna know that there's UFOs above your city? Because there are, so get your camera handy, boys and girls. We might be able to uh, document something that's ongoing here. Woo, I'm pumped, man. While talking to the camera about UFOs, some strangers passing by overheard me and told me that they too saw the lights. What did you guys see? Like, I just wanna get audio of this like if you maybe, don't mind. No, about, maybe about 100 red lights. 100 red lights? Floating. I Cause was I only saw like eight or something. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, it was going on forever. Really, eh? Cause I like waited around once I saw like the eight, and then there was like two more, but then nothing after that. Yeah, but the you guys two saw last hundreds. Ones, oh, oh yeah. Where were they disappearing? Like over top of one that London place? There. One London place. They were disappearing yes. over top of it. Yeah. Well, beside it. Yeah. Like yeah. They yeah. Were going right into it. Yeah. I think there's like a UFO over top of one London place. But then it was a cluster of like about a dozen all together. Yeah, and that's kind of what I saw. At least like seven or eight, I said. Last I, last I seen of it, I seen one, and the longest sign there was none, and then two more followed it. Yeah. You know? And they were the brightest yeah. ones. Those At the very end? The very and that's, I did get those on film too. So. It, it like how long, how long was, were you watching it? Yeah, it, it, it I was watching amazing. it for about five minutes before I said anything because I thought I was seeing things. Yeah. And then I mentioned to the two people I was sitting with. And like, did you see look that? Look at that. Like, what the Oh, I wasn't. I swore. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, have you ever seen anything like that before? No. no. Nope. I Hell thought it was no. only people. And we were. Jo I was joking about that too. I said I thought only people in Arkansas saw this. Kind of <laughs> it's thing. not just in like the states. It is here. Like my buddies like seen similar sightings, but not like hundreds of them. Yeah, it looked like I don't know little. They look like lanterns, but they weren't just lanterns. Yeah, they, I don't know. Like, you can't you can't gauge the distance that they were. Like, it I, looked like they, they were going right next to one London place. Like I saw yeah. them like come up over there, and then they just sort of went that way, and then disappeared like right next to it. Yeah, and that's kind of what you yeah. saw, right? Yeah, and that was that like. When did it start? When? Because I saw it at like 9.30. Oh, no. about 10 after 9 is when I said something to them and I'm, I'm sure I was watching about a good three minutes anyway before that, so. Yeah, wow. It went on for a while. I'm like interested in this stuff, so good thing I got it on camera. I didn't believe it existed before, but that was something, and I don't know what it was. I know, right? It makes you, it makes you question, right? It does, it makes you like question. Like, what else is there that we uh, don't know or haven't seen yet? The fact of the matter is, we are not alone. And uh, this is very interesting considering I just saw Prometheus today. We are not alone both multidimensionally and extraterrestrially. Extraterrestrially? Yeah, extraterrestrially. Ultra-terrestrially. Yeah. If you're still watching this video, then I imagine you're interested in this kind of stuff. So allow me to paint the picture even more. On May 29th, I began uploading video dream logs. In the first video that I uploaded, I shared a recollection within my dream where I had a UFO sighting that is uncanny in its comparison to what actually happened here tonight. Here's original footage from that dream log. You can click the links to watch the full thing if you're interested. And I didn't have a head camera. And cameras are always something that sort of come up in my dreams, you know? Like something will be in my dream where I'm like, oh, I wish I'm filming this, I wish I'm filming this. Well, anyways, like, in between rounds, the next thing that I remember is that, like, suddenly there's, like, UFOs up in the sky in my dream. Um, uh, there's kind of, like, or like UFOs, like, orbs, you know? And there's, like, six or seven of them, and they were sort of um, following each other, like, in a trail, sort of, um, kind of, like, a, like, in a squiggly line, sort of, like, phasing in and out. And, um, and so, like, this kid was, like, filming them. Uh, with his with his camera and like I didn't have a camera and I was like I was like oh I need to be filming this you know I need to be filming this and then you know it's kind of funny because I like woke up and I already had the intention of like filming this with um, with this camera so take what you want from all that but I just want to say that without a doubt through my own experience let me tell you that there is more to this reality than meets the eye 
So as something to compare what I saw, here's another sighting from Switzerland. And uh, basically, you take a look at this footage. Is this the same thing that we saw here in London? And uh, is this the same thing that's being seen in many other places all over the world? If these are questions that interest you, then please feel free to come out to one of the Paradigm Shift London Consciousness Camp meetings that are held every Friday, 6 p.m. at Moksha Yoga London. At these meetings, we encourage people to be able to talk about things that are less commonly talked about in public spheres, such as UFO sightings. So if you're interested in things like UFOs or even ideas like meditation and spirituality and hyperdimensional reality and the elusive Sasquatch, then please feel free to come out to one of these meetings. If you're not in London, then I encourage you to create meetings like these in your own areas so that people can get together and be in a safe space and be able to talk about this type of stuff because talking about this stuff is important because it's going to get to the point where it simply can't be ignored. So one last thing in terms of UFOs, personally I think we need to move away from the assumption that UFOs can only be physical craft so to speak and open up to the idea that some of these lights and orbs may actually be what are known as activated Merkabas. Merkabas are light body vehicles designed for interdimensional travel so if you want to learn more about these things then I suggest you can look them up online or you can always come out to consciousness camp and we can talk about it some more but until then you guys keep your cameras ready because you never know when a UFO is going to show up. Of course, please feel free to join the Paradigm Shift London Facebook community and take part in the conversation online there as well. This is Skull Babylon reporting. I'll see you in the future.